Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to convert the decimal number to binary number in C++. So let's get started. So first let me explain you the algorithm of this conversion. Okay. So here we will be having three steps. Okay. And, and let's consider n to be our number. Okay. So we will be having a while loop. Okay. Just consider a while loop with a condition of n greater than 0. Okay. And inside this while loop we will be having three steps. Okay, this is, I will just explain you as like a blueprint of how we are going to do this. It's not going to be detailed. Later, I will be coding it. Okay, so the first step, what we will do is we will find the n modulus two. Okay, and we will find the remainder. Okay, and the second step is we will store the remainder. Store remainder. Okay, store this remainder. So this store can be done in the form of a string, or it can be pushed inside a vector, or it's absolutely your choice. But the easiest way is string, okay. And the third step is going to be the number equal to number divided by 2. That is, we will assign the quotient of the number when divided by 2 to the number itself. So this will this three process will be happening until our number becomes 0. So if our number becomes 0, this loop breaks and we will be just displaying the store value in our output, okay. So this is like a simple algorithm of how it works. So now let's just go and code, okay. So first thing, we need a number. So in n, okay. And let's just input, okay. Input the number. So c in n, that's fine. And the next thing, as I told you, it had a while loop. So while n greater than 0. Next line, I told you we need a reminder, okay. So r equal to n modulus of 2, okay. And we need to like declare r. So R and next thing is the storage. Okay. So for storing, what I'm going to do is as I told you here, we will be using a string or a vector. So I will use string. Okay. Which is like really easy. So string B will be my binary number. Okay. So what I will do over is that B equal to two underscore string of R plus B. Okay. So nothing serious is happening over here. I am just extracting this reminder and I am just converting this reminder to string or data type. Okay, so this is to convert string data type. This just comes inside the IOST meter IO file, no extra header files required. So I am just converting my reminder to a string, okay, and I am just adding with the existing digits, okay. So that's a store, okay. So this let me just initialize to like empty string. So I will just type the next line and I will just explain it to you with the help of a demo, okay. That's it. And next line, as I told you, what we will do, we will just find the quotient and assign to the number divided by 2. So n equal to n slash 2. That's it. This is the code over here, okay. So now let me explain you with the help of a demo. Let my n be equal to 11, okay. And this is doing the first iteration. So it comes over here, the void loop. The void loop checks the condition whether our n is greater than 0. So 11 is greater than 0. Condition is true. And what happens over here is that r equal to 11 modulus of 2, okay. So modulus operator, as you can guess, it just uh, returns the remainder, okay. So 10 is absolutely divisible by 2 and we'll be getting the remainder over here as 1. So, and what happens here is that B equal to, the reason why I'm converting here is because we can't just concatenate a variable of int type to a string. So that's why I'm converting it to a string and concatenating to a string variable over here. So B equal to our R value, okay. So even though we're converting, nothing is going to change to our value. So B equal to 1 plus this empty string okay so this empty string okay during the first iteration just an empty string so we will be having b equal to 1 but this is of type string okay so that's it we are done with this line and the next line as i told you earlier we need the quotient okay so let me just put over here so this will we will be getting the quotient so n equal to 11 slash 2 so the quotient is 5 so now our n becomes 5 because we are just reassigning to n itself so at the end of this while loop our n value will be 5 and not 11 okay so i think we are good here now again it checks for the condition whether if 5 is greater than 0 which is true and comes over here now this is the second iteration r equal to 5 mod 2 we will be getting the remainder as 1 next line what happens is that b equal to our remainder plus the existing b so our remainder over here is 1 plus and this time we won't be having a blank space this time we will be having 1 that is from our last iteration so it will be 1 plus 1 which will be to 1 1 and it's not 2 2 because this is of type string okay it just concatenates and it doesn't perform mathematical sum okay so it will become 
one one of type string okay that's why i'm using a string over here if you use like a normal int it just gets added up so i think string is a like a really good approach to use over here and now we are done with the second step and now we'll just go to the third step so n equal to our like n current n is 5 slash 2 so this time the quotient is 2 okay and now what happens over is that uh, our n becomes 2 at the end of this second iteration so now instead of 5 we'll be having 2 then it checks for the condition 2 greater than 0 which is fine and it goes for the third iteration okay so r equal to 2 mod 2 because n is 2 over here so which will be equal to 0 and comes here b equal to our string value of r which is 0 plus concatenates our last time b value so it is 11 which will be equal to 0 1 1 okay and next line third step n equal to 2 slash 2 which will be equal to 1 so n is now 1 so it just goes to here and n becomes 1 1 is greater than 0 condition is true r equal to 1 modulus of 2 which will be equal to 1 okay 1 mod 2 is 1 and not 0 be careful over that and next step b equal to the string value of r which is 1 over here so 1 concatenates 0 1 1 which will be equal to 1 0 1 1 and if you just now go here n equal to our n current n value is 1 slash 2 will be 0 that's the difference 1 mod 2 is 1 1 slash or divided by 2 is 0 and that's it our n has become 0 at the end and if it now will be 0 over here and we'll check 0 greater than 0 condition is absolutely false and that's it our while loop terminates now our string b it will be having the binary form of our number okay so if i just go over here and put c out b that's it we'll be getting our our decimal number in binary form and another important thing is that you need to be careful over here like let's suppose say that you need to put b equal to our remainder uh, of string type plus b okay if you just interchange if you let's suppose say that if you put b equal to b plus r of type string you will be getting this exact opposite way which like may will be definitely will be a wrong answer let's suppose say in case you have 5 okay 5 will have a number of 101 so if you just reverse it as as well it just is a same number like a palindrome so but in the in this case 11 isn't a palindrome okay palindrome number so it will be like exactly opposite way so be careful it's the string type of r plus b over here so let me just now run something and show it to you i will just execute and run it and i think it's correct i guess 11 is 1011 1 plus 2 plus this is 0 so 1 plus 2 plus 8 which is 11 so let me just save it and run it now okay so i'll put 11 itself first so i'm getting 1011 and we just go with some other number I'll put 6. So 6, I guess it's 110. So 110. And final try, I will put 15, which is 4 ones. 15 and 4 ones. And there is also like another check over here. And what's the problem is that this B is of type string. Okay. So as you can guess, it's I have declared string. Okay. And what if we want to convert this B to an integer for like for the future purposes? Okay. So in that case, what you can do is you can just have int i okay and what you are going to do is you just go here i equal to stoi of b okay so this is just a inbuilt function to convert string to integer okay and if you now just go and print i and execute it you can get your binary number in a form of integer data type itself like in case if you want to use further so that's it this is like a really simple program just three steps over here and i hope you would have found this video useful i have also done many other program videos in c++ as well as c python java as well as 3d animation in blender so do check other ways of my channel subscribe and support me thanks for watching